Hello and welcome to the second episode of Theory Review. This theory was submitted by Mr. Max228, hashtag 7446. The main idea is that Rose was working for Phoenix before Jackdaw's betrayal. Before I go on, I'm going to point out a potential error. We don't know if Phoenix actually existed before Jackdaw's betrayal. We know that by 2012, Phoenix is active, which means it must have been created before then. However, we don't know exactly when it was established. Since this theory doesn't make any attempt to prove this, I'm going to have to take off a few evidence points. The withdrawal evidence is not actually that strong. Jackdaw does indeed say that Rose is missing out, but this could be explained by the fact that he used to work with Halcyon, so he would know that Rose likes explosives. It proves that Jackdaw worked with Rose at some point, but not necessarily after he betrayed Halcyon. I disagree with the idea that Rose is suspicious in the Black Sight. She's definitely very irritable and critical of the protagonists, but this can be explained by her being in prison for a while, plus her dislike of stealth missions. There's nothing that suggests she's a double agent in this mission, even if she is kind of a jerk. In Critical, Rose does actually seem a bit suspicious. It's clear that something is bothering her, but she avoids the topic. I don't necessarily see Rose trying to get the protagonist on her side. It actually seems like the opposite, the protagonist is trying to persuade her. While it's true that she does say her actual name, this is because she is being indecisive and indiscreet. I don't see any serious attempt by Rose to persuade the protagonist. Thus, this isn't very good evidence, though it does leave a few questions about Rose. The evidence about the Black Dawn is a bit better. I actually covered this in my first video. It's essentially a fact that Jackdaw spared Rose in the Black Dawn. If you listen to the audio, you can see that there's two bursts of three shots and then there's two shots that sound very deliberate. According to the police report, Rose was shot twice. We can assume that the last two shots were aimed at Rose. The fact that she was only shot twice and that there was a pause between the two shots suggests that Jackdaw was being careful not to finish her off. The idea that Jackdaw ran out of ammo doesn't make any sense. He only fired 8 shots total, plus one thumper round, so there's no way he would run out of ammo. The same is true about time. He could have quickly finished off Rose if he had wanted to, like he did with the first two operatives. Besides, this is Jackdaw we're talking about. According to Ren, he does not make mistakes. His actions in the Black Dawn were exactly as planned. The only question is whether this proves Rose is working with him or not. If Rose was working with him, then Jackdaw would not kill her. However, if that were the case, then she could have just betrayed Halcyon at any moment and handed him the Dawn Valley research, instead of having to get shot twice and captured by the government. Thus, I don't believe we have enough evidence to say whether this proves anything about Rose being a double agent. It certainly seems odd, but he might have a reason for keeping her alive, even as an enemy. One of the questions in the forum is why Rose didn't just tell the protagonist she was working for Phoenix. This is actually not a great counter-argument. The protagonist's loyalties weren't exactly clear, so there's a chance they would have sold her out to Halcyon. The best evidence for this claim is what I call the Kingmaker Principle. Basically, it's the idea that the protagonist decides the outcome of the Shadow War. Here's my reasoning. In canon, the protagonist succeeds in every playable mission. The Black Dusk seems very climactic. This means that the side they're fighting for will also win in the Black Dusk, and probably the entire war. After this mission, the only time the protagonist and their side could be defeated is in the epilogue. However, it would be anticlimactic for the protagonist to die in the epilogue, especially considering the definition of epilogue. Thus, whoever the protagonist fights for will win the Shadow War. And right now, it seems like they're going to end up with Phoenix. It's very likely that Phoenix will win, but right now, Rose is a Halcyon operative. 
and Sashiro has confirmed that Rose won't die. So, what are the odds that Rose will be on the losing side, but will still survive? The odds aren't very high. Rose is a high-ranking Halcyon operative. If Phoenix wins, then Jackdaw would definitely take her out. That is, unless she is a double agent. If she was working for Phoenix, then it makes a lot more sense for her to survive the story. I made a list of possibilities, and unless Sish is trolling us, I don't see how else Rose could survive the story. Anyway, it's time to add up points. For the evidence part, I think it was a mistake to claim that Rose was working with Phoenix before Jackdaw's betrayal because it assumes that Phoenix already existed, which is not an entirely defensible claim. The overall evidence was not terrible, especially with the Kingmaker principle that I added, but all of the evidence was also vague and ambiguous. I give this a 6 out of 10. This also seems like a fairly practical theory. The idea of double agents in the EP lore is not new, so it wouldn't be surprising if Chi actually is working for Phoenix. It's important to note that Rose is Sashado's favorite character. I'm not entirely sure whether Sish would make their favorite character a double agent, since that would paint Rose in somewhat of a negative light. Rose has also been established as a fun-loving character, so something as serious as betraying Halcyon doesn't seem entirely consistent with the tone of the story. I'll give this a 7 out of 10 in practicality. So far, there hasn't been much to contradict this theory. However, I noticed something odd regarding Shadow Wars. Yes, I know that Shadow Wars is only semi-canon. It's meant to capture the general essence of the Shadow War without describing any specific events in the canon. Regardless, it's interesting that Rose is a Halcyon coordinator. If Rose were working with Phoenix, then this would seemingly create a contradiction in Shadow Wars. There's two allied coordinators leading operatives against each other. It just doesn't make logical sense for Rose's squad to directly engage Jackdaw's operatives if she is working for him even if she's pretending to be in Halcyon's side. Again, I get that SW is not entirely canon, so perhaps this isn't a huge deal, but it's supposed to be at least representative of minor events in the canon. I give this a 7 out of 10 in integrity. Overall, the final score is a 20 out of 30. The theory submission forms have been reopened and can be found in the description below. I have something a bit different planned for the next episode of this series. This has been the unofficial guide to entry point.